Welcome. This is the um, Algebra 1 practice test. It's practice test 2, actually. Question number 16. Linda buys a package of 12 cartons of tomato soup for $30. If each carton holds 16 ounces of soup, what is the cost per quart? Now, the reality is we have to do some conversion work here. Otherwise, it won't work at all. So what we know right now is that she spent $30 for 12 cartons. And if we know that each carton has 16 ounces, we can say, and I'm going to go ahead and just convert the cartons to ounces really quickly, and I'm going to do 12 times 16, and 12 times 16 is 192. So she spent $30 on 192 ounces. I'm going to put OZ there. Now we have to do a little bit of conversion work there because we need to go into quarts. She's, they're not interested in the cost per ounce. They want to know the cost per quart. So we're going to convert ounces into quarts. And we'll have to use the formulas page to do it. What you'll find on the formulas page, and since it's soup, this is a liquid. So make sure you look for uh, capacity uh, measurement. So I'll find one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. I will also find uh, in my quest to find quarts and cups, that one quart is equal to four cups. That's going to come in handy. Now the reality is we have these conversion factors that we have in place. We just need to make sure that we set them up in a way that allows us to cancel out the units that we're trying to get rid of and replace them with the units that we already uh, that we want to get to. Now in order to bridge the gap between ounces and quarts, I'm going to have to use cups. But first things first, I need to convert ounces to cups. I know that one cup is equal to eight ounces. So what I'm going to do is use that conversion factor. And I'm going to multiply these fractions together. And I'm going to say that eight fluid ounces is one cup. And in order to get rid of the ounces on the bottom, I need to set this up so the eight ounces is on top. And then one cup would be on the bottom. Now it gives me the value of how many, now I can figure out how many uh, dollars per cup, but I'm still not interested in that information. I want to know what it is in quarts. So from here, I need to set up one quart equals four cups in a way that eliminates cups. So I'm going to put cups on top. These cancel out, and that would leave me with one quart on the bottom. So my final answer will have dollars on top, which is what I'm looking for, and on the bottom, it'll have a uh, quart, so per quart. Now, all I need to do is multiply the top and the bottom, or you can set them up as fractions, whatever you feel like you need to do. So I'll just do the numerator. So I'll do 30 times 8 times 4, and it gives me 960. And I realize now I didn't leave myself enough room to adjust in a second. And 192, because that would be 192 times 1 times 1 quarts. All I need to do now is work this thing out. So I need to divide 960 by 192 and I get five and I'm going to convert that to five dollars per one quart so all you need to do to solve it, which is C by the way all you need to do is go ahead and adjust for how many ounces that you already have and then just use conversion factors to cancel out the units that you don't use and then solve for the answer not a really difficult question to do as long as you set it up and use the formulas page because it makes your life much easier so that's it